You. Yes, you. The average Jason lawyer. Don't you hate that Jason uses too many bytes? Like, there's so many unnecessary new lines, brackets, colons, and quotations. No? I don't care. I'm here to fix a problem you never asked to be fixed. And I'm making my own Jason. Some time ago, I was wondering how to go about making my very own JSON, but with a twist. You specify the length of each field and value, and read only then. And this way, I could make my own key value pairs without having to write a lexer. And no, no, it's not literally writing UTF-8 and parsing the lengths, but by using binary. This has totally never been invented by any other huge corporation before. <laughs> So first, this project is going to be called Yaxl's Very Basic Object Notation, <laughs> or YBBON for short. YBBON is going to have a header consisting of a checksum, which is going to be 64 bytes, and that's it. Now, each item or record is going to have one byte for the length of the field, and who is going to use more than 254 characters for the field anyway? The next four bytes or 32 bits are going to be for the length of the value in bytes. The next byte or eight bits are going to be for the type of the value, and everything after that is data. Cool? Cool. Okay, now we have a schema. Now it's time to code this thing. Since nobody's hiring junior devs, I'm going to code this in the most beginner-friendly language I know, Rust. <laughs> to be able to parse my data, first I need data that I can parse. So I started making my own serializer for which I had to start making an enum which had a few data types. And then I needed a way to turn them into byte arrays, which I was coding myself using bitwise operators just to realize that ever since ROS 1.32.0, primitive types have a 2B bytes, which turn the data into an array of bytes for me, meaning I have just been wasting my time. So I made a method that turns my data into an array of bytes. And finally, I was able to make my serializing function that takes a field and a variant of my element enum, takes everything together and pushes it into a nice array of bytes. Great, what well, now? Now we make the parser. Strip the checksum away, read the field length, read the value length, read the value type, read the field without a care for any error handling, and then read the value. I wonder if this will work. Now we need to typecast this data because we can't use this as a string or not yet anyway. Ironically, this string was the easiest one to typecast by far because of this amazing function. The other types were a little bit more complicated. Why am I doing this to myself? Before I get crucified in the comments, no, I did not leave this like this. It's just that I forgot that for loops exist, but that wasn't complicated enough for me. So how many fucking trades do you need? I ended up with this abomination that takes five years from your lifespan if you read it. And I got a very nice comment for it. And after a few hours of suffering, I finally made it work and it works amazing. Now I just got to do the checksum. I'm not about to code this myself. And the hash function actually returns 32 bytes instead of 64. So I just had to make a small edit and we're done. To use YB1, you make a few raw sections. You pass down your field and your value. Then you append it to the data. You append the data to the parser. You zero the checksum, you calculate the checksum, and then you can use your data. Then later you can save it for later use. 